You know, most of the time, whenever I start recording my recording for a video, I kind of have an idea as to what I'm going to say. You know, like I have an idea of the tone of the video, of what I'm going to specifically be saying throughout the video. But today, I, I, I am so confused at this bizarre situation that I really just don't know what to say. All right. So here's what happened. A couple of days ago, EPI, Entangling Poison Ivy, came back in the challenge mode. She's one of the best characters in the game. Keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind for one second, okay? She's the one of the best characters in the entire game. And the reason why EPI came to the challenge mode, even though she doesn't pop up that frequently anymore, is because she's a bisexual character. And of course, it's June. June is Pride Month. So Netherrealm brought back EPI just for a couple of days so we can unlock the character as a little bit of a celebration for Pride Month, right? And again, let me just emphasize this real quick, all right? She is one of the best characters in the game. So it was unbelievably confusing yesterday when we got this message from Netherrealm, the one that you're looking at on screen right now. It says... We recognize associating our latest global challenge with pride was insensitive and inappropriate. Real life violence against the LGBTQ community and women within that community in particular is all too common and we should actively engage in efforts to end violence, not normalize it. We apologize to the greater community, but especially LGBTQ members because we are committed to listening and doing better. Now look, all of that sounds great until you fucking realize there was no point of this message. She is one of the best characters in the game. Nobody, nobody on planet Earth was complaining about getting free EPI shards. Nobody. This is a character that takes you a long time to get if you want to get her off of chest, which is pretty much the only way to get her. So the fact that she was coming back was a big W for the challenge mode. And of course, in the challenge mode, you have to fight EPI and defeat her to get shards for EPI, which apparently is now considered promoting violence against LGBTQ people, all right? Please keep in mind, this is a fighting game. You're going to fuck up EPI just as much as you're going to fuck up Superman. You know, as long as you win the battle. It's a fighting game, okay? It's not like female characters are weaker than men or men are, are weaker than women. It's, it's, everyone's equal. You just fight and you try to win matches. There is nothing complicated about this, man. But apparently, it is now insensitive to fight bisexual people in a video game. Now, look. Aren't we, this is what confuses me. Aren't we trying to go for equality? Isn't it equal to fight EPI just as much as you're going to fight Cyborg, just as much as you're going to fight Batman? You know, like, what are we doing here, man? Like, I really just don't, this, if you are a person with common sense, you know, most of you know, I know, okay? Most of you know, this is a bizarre situation very 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 bizarre i don't even know if we're gonna get the rewards that nether realm was hyping up for the last like three days they were hyping up some reward that we were gonna get if everybody worked together to defeat epi and there was like a little bar or something like that and it would keep track of how many times we've defeated epi or something like that i don't know if we're gonna get those rewards anymore i don't know maybe we were gonna get harley quinn shards which Harley Quinn is also one of the best characters in the game, possibly even the best character in the game, which would have been fantastic. And you know what? A small part of me, a small part of me, if you guys don't play this game and don't keep track of what the developers do, they are so scammy, so scammy. So a small part of me believes that they just brought this bullshit ass message just so they wouldn't give us heartbreak or harley quinn shards because api and heartbreak or harley quinn they're a team right and i think harley quinn is also at one point epi's girlfriend right so i'm pretty sure we were gonna get heartbreak or harley quinn shards but now 
We're not, we're not, we're probably not going to get him anymore. Why? Because NetherRealm thought it was sexist to fight women in a fucking fighting game with like 20 other, 30 other woman characters or whatever, which apparently it's okay to beat them up. But because EPI is a bisexual or whatever, it's not okay. It's, it's, it's okay if you fight a male character, if you fight a woman character, but if you fight a bisexual character, nah. Now, we gotta give them some fucking special treatment, right? It's unfair if we do some shit like that. And keep in mind, again, it's a fighting game. We're not even fighting a real person. We're fighting a code. It's, it's, it's a code. It's a code with a skin on it. That's what we're gonna fight. But I, I just, I, I, I don't, bro, Netherrealm just finds ways every month to just surprise me. Like, I don't know what to say about this situation. I think everybody here except for Netherrealm, you know, the multi-million dollar company, everyone else realizes this was totally unnecessary. Nobody was complaining about anything. But I guess, I, I don't know, I guess Netherrealm is too bitch-made or something. I don't know, man. That's the thing about these companies now, man. They're so, they're fucking pussies, bro. You do anything, anything. And they just, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry, I put a, I put a bisexual character in the game, I'm sorry, don't beat her up, oh my god, it's like, bro, just, it's a fucking game, bro, everybody here knows it's a game, I don't know what they were trying to achieve with this, they just look like a bunch of fucking clowns right now, and a bunch of fucking incels, these, like, dude, nobody was complaining, I, I don't know why it's such a big deal, like, I, I, I don't, fucking no and you know what's even crazier there was this artifact in the game it well it's still in the game called the beta club the beta club was the best artifact in the game for sure you would do a lot of damage with it and then it just so happens that after a brand new update came out that brought us brand new bosses the beta club just so happened to get nerfed and everybody was tweeting at netherrealm Hey, the beta club is broken. Hey, the beta club doesn't work. Hey, I spent a lot of money getting the beta club and now it's broken. Fix it. And then after like a month, Netherrealm replied. After a fucking month. And to make matters worse, they hyped up an update for another month. And then when that update came out, guess what? That update didn't fix the fucking beta club. So now it's been like three fucking months for an artifact that's been broken that a lot of people spent money for. But the moment some fucking virgin incel types out, oh, it's sexist to fight Poison Ivy, all of a sudden, Netherrealm replies to that guy in a day. In a day. Uh, three days or uh, two days it's been two days they reply to that message in two fucking days but it's been months since a lot of people spent money on this one artifact and it still doesn't fucking work this i please do me a favor just do me a just do me a favor please stop playing the game stop stop it stop it you know you hate this game you know you do all right, we fight the same bosses every single day with the same six teams that we use every single day and we just get screwed over by Netherrealm because they literally don't give a flying fuck about the community or the players, right? They don't care about you. They don't. And the game is boring. Like you literally do the same thing every single day. I know you can say that about a lot of games, but in this one specific game, you literally just use the same six characters, and there's like a hundred characters in the game, right? Because the balance is so off with the characters. So you just have to use the most OP ones the whole time. So stop playing the game. Stop spending money on the game. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve it at all. Maybe if we stop playing... After a month, maybe after two months, they will actually get their shit together, and then we can come back to a better game. But the way it is right now, no shot. This game is, it, it, it's, it's like, it's like, it, it is just a few months away from just dead, dead, dead. Because we just barely get any brand new content, and the content that we do get fucks up a million other things in the game. They, they, it fucks up the frame drops, it fucks up shit that we paid for, that we worked for, characters, artifacts, 
So stop supporting the game. Stop it. Stop it. Uninstall it, or at least don't play it, or at least don't spend any money on it. Just stop playing the game. Please. And NetherRealm, from the bottom of my heart, you guys are the most pathetic incel virgin developers I've ever fucking seen in my life. More than those pathetic fucking mama's boys that got rid of the word virgin on Twitch. You are more pathetic than them, okay? Just to let you know. And I hope you sincerely go fuck yourself.